Hello, my name is Josiah Ray, and I'm going to show you how to make a teeth sparkle in Adobe After Effects. Now coming in here, this is sort of what we are going for as a final result. Sort of the, the little gleam off the teeth as, as she smiles. So we're come, let's come into this composition where we've got just the footage. And we're going to want that to start. Let's pick a start point first. We'll want it to start right as she's turning through here. So right about there should be good. And we'll just leave the, the time selector there for a little while. First thing we need to do is create a new shape layer. And I'll show you why we're doing a shape layer in a moment. Aside from um, instead of a solid with a mask on it, we'll do a shape. So let's select shape layer. And it creates this new shape layer right on top of our footage. Now we could do a couple of different things to create the basic shape of the sparkle. We could select a star and create that shape right on the frame. Or we can go down inside of the shape layer itself and where the contents are, click add and select this poly star. And it will do essentially the same thing. Let's instead, let's use the shape tool though. And the reason I do is because it automatically fills the shape with a color, with white, which is actually what we want. And what I'm doing is I'm holding down shift, which stops it from doing that weird spin as we're, as we're making it bigger. And it really doesn't matter what size you make it because we're going to be goofing with the size in a moment anyway. So you can see underneath the shape layer, it's created this polystar one shape. And we're going to open that up and make this a little, a little bigger so we can see. And we're going to go to the path because we want to begin altering that. Now, the typical sparkle you see has four points on the star, not five, which is very easy to change. We just select four underneath the points. This is why we're using a shape layer and not a mask. Because with a mask, it can be very difficult to get those points perfectly symmetrical. And in this, you just select however many points you want and it does it for you. So that's a little bit big for what we're going for. And we can, create, we can alter the inner and the outer radius separately, which is exactly what we want to do. We're going to make that inner radius smaller. But it's a little bit aggressive in its linearity. So I'm going to up this inner roundness and you can see it kind of creates more of that sparkle star shape that we're going for. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller still, just to right about there. And that's about the size of the sparkle that we're, that we're going for. And again, this is, this is up to taste, so feel free to experiment to your, heart, experiment to your heart's content. And now, the next step is to get that to track with her teeth as she continues to turn through her smile. We're not actually going to animate the shape itself, and I'll show you why in a moment. But we're going to create a new null layer. And let's make the shape invisible for a moment. And we're going to animate this null layer. And this is important for what's coming up afterward. Now let's start the position, click the uh, stopwatch, create a keyframe right, right where we're sitting. And we'll come forward a little bit to right around here or so. And we're going to select the cursor from up here, the selection tool, or you can push V on your keyboard. And let's drag this null shape over so that it follows her, her uh, right eye tooth. And we'll come back to the first keyframe and, and alter that a little bit. So that, that that tracks it you know fairly well. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but it's, it's tracking it all right through the keyframes. So come back down to the shape layer, and we're going to close the contents and open up transform. And what we're going to do is we're going to move the entire layer with the null. And the reason for that is if we try to position the star shape over the teeth and then parent it to the null, it's going to mess it all up. So we're going to parent the entire layer to the null object. So underneath over here underneath parent, we can pick whip this. It's called pick whipping when you click that and drag it up to the null, make the shape layer visible again. And we're just going to drag that right over the eye tooth, make that a little bigger so we can see. And now if we scroll back and forth through the timeline, you can see through the tracking points that that follows the, the eye tooth, you know, pretty closely, pretty closely. Now we're going to animate the, the scale of that twinkle so that it 
comes and goes inside of the inside of the time that we're tracking the tooth. So let's go to the first keyframe here, and we're going to underneath the shape layer, click the scale stopwatch. And let's go to the last motion keyframe and click it again. And we're going to go right into the middle and click it one more time. Now the one in the middle is the one we really want to keep. That's the largest size that that twinkle will be. Let's go to the first and last keyframes and actually set the scale to zero. And that will completely remove our little star from the frame. So, if we make this a little bigger, you can see not only is that tracking with her, but it's also getting bigger and disappearing for us. Now the basics of the effect are done. You can add some more things to it to spruce it up a little bit to your taste, a little lens flare, a little bit of blur, maybe a rotation to it, but the essential part of the effect is done. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video on how to create a teeth sparkle using Adobe After Effects. I'm Josiah Ray.